Church here, and welcome to the Game Grinder. Today will be the first of what I hope to be a long series of videos of uh, recent pickups that I've gotten. Uh, I'm going back a couple months here just to get a little extra content going, and my initial plan is to do this probably every two months or so. So I'd like to give a little mention to a game shop in Forest Lake, Minnesota, a place called Punch Out Games. Uh, it was actually the first time I had been there, and uh, they gave me some pretty decent deals. Uh, thought it was very cool that they let me check out their back room and do some digging around boxes for manuals and uh, game boxes. Actually, ended up picking up quite a bit and spent a little bit money and really appreciated that they let me do that. Without further ado then, let's get started. I think I'm going to go through kind of an oldest to newest uh, layout here just so I can make my way through all this in some sort of organized fashion. So, the uh, first thing I got was uh, actually for free from the game shop I went to. Uh, it's NES Clean Kit, complete in box. Looks like it's never even been used really, so that was kind of cool to have that. I actually have my original Super Nintendo cleaning kit, uh, complete in box from way back in the day, so it's just nice to have the NES one as well. Uh, next, I got the Marble Madness box with manual. Uh, I had the game, but not the box or the manual, so it's always cool to add another complete box game to my collection. Also, I got a box for Star Fox 64, which also included the manual. I already had the game, and I have the Rumble Pack as well, but I uh, didn't throw the Rumble Pack back in the box. And then, just for shits and giggles, I got a Dreamcast controller box. I got a couple controllers, no boxes. Uh, it doesn't have any sort of uh, filler in there, but... I figured, why not? So moving on to Super Nintendo then, I just want to preface this with a mention that there's a lot of games that I used to have that I haven't reacquired yet. Um, I'm kind of a cheap game collector, I don't try to spend much on games, so some of the more expensive ones that I'm trying to gain back I just haven't gotten uh, until recently actually. I prices are getting a little high so I figured I should probably jump on those games now to get them back in my collection uh, just to kind of make myself feel better. So anyways, uh, moving on to Super Nintendo then, I got a Kirby's Avalanche. Um, never really played this. I think I might have played it at a friend's house uh, way back when, but I'm looking forward to playing that, maybe get some friends over. I also picked up Tecmo Super Bowl 3. Uh, I didn't really actually know much about this one when I was looking for Tecmo Super Bowl again, so I picked up the third one. Uh, they changed quite a bit, but it seemed pretty cool. Uh, I actually played it with some friends a little bit, and they were having none of it. They just wanted to play Tecmo Super Bowl. So I'll have to spend some time with that one in the future. I also got Super Action Football, which was a game that I used to have. I think my dad might have gotten this for himself. This this isn't the uh, original one, but uh, it was a decent game, you know, way back then. There wasn't a whole lot of great sports games, and I think that was probably one of the better football games on the Super Nintendo. And this is one of the games that I've been looking forward to getting back in my collection for quite a long time. It's actually one of my favorite games of all time, one of the best Super Nintendo games of all time, one of the best JRPGs of all time, and that would be Chrono Trigger. And I actually used to have this complete in box, uh, it was like one of my most cherished games, and when I moved up to the PlayStation 1, I ended up having to sell a lot of my games, so I lost that, and just because it's been a little bit more of a pricey game, even in 10 years ago, I just haven't gotten around to picking it up again, and I finally saw the prices jumping up again, so I knew that I should probably grab it before it gets too expensive, and I don't really feel bad about spending the price I did, because... Uh, I just absolutely love this game. Uh, yeah, I really have nothing bad to say about it. So then, moving on to Game Boy, uh, I actually picked up a Game Boy Color. I used to have a Game Boy Color, uh, the translucent purple one, and I got a pretty good deal on this one, so decided to get another Game Boy Color. Then also I have picked up a second uh, original Game Boy, the Translucent, Super 90s Awesomeness, uh, and then a bunch of games, and uh, I could pull these out, but decided not to. I got Kirby's Dream Land and Donkey Kong Land, uh, and then also I got 
Batman, which I've never played yet, uh, Dr. Mario, and then I got Final Fantasy Adventures, or Final Fantasy Legend 2 and 3. I haven't played these yet. I've heard okay things about them, but uh, I'll have to get around to those eventually. And then also for the Game Boy Color, I got uh, Spy vs. Spy and Tomb Raider, a huge Tomb Raider fan. I can't imagine this is very good, but it'll be interesting to play it once I finally get around to it. And then also uh, for handheld, I don't have uh, a Game Boy Advance just yet, but I got a sweet deal on Metroid Fusion Complete in Box. Really looking forward to playing this one eventually. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to pick me up an Advance sometime. And now moving on to PlayStation 1. Uh, again, you know, there's a few games here that I had way back when, and I just reacquired finally. Uh, I used to have the uh, cardboard box version, but I got the uh, long box plastic uh, Battle Arena Toshinden. Uh, it's one of the first PlayStation games I had. I liked it quite a bit. I thought the soundtrack was pretty cool. Uh, looking at it now, it's pretty rough, but there's something about the game, just, you know, a lot of nostalgia or whatever, that uh, just made me want to get that back to my collection. Uh, a game that I really enjoyed, uh, and I used to have is uh, Brave Fencer Musashi for uh, PlayStation. It's a uh, Squaresoft game and it was one of the few games that they kind of deviated from the typical RPG uh, around that time and I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, it's been a long time since I played it. I don't remember a whole lot so I'll definitely have to sit down and give that another go. I also picked up Alundra 2. Uh, I had Alundra 1, never played Alundra 2, uh, enjoyed Alundra 1 quite a bit, so looking forward to giving that one a go. And then I actually got a, another really good deal on a PlayStation complete in box with uh, Marvel Super Heroes, which is a really cool fighter. Uh, and then also I got X-Men vs. Street Fighter, pretty cool. I, I believe these were in the arcade, I guess I could have looked it up. Uh, I'm, but I have played these before, just haven't played them again since I picked them up. So, again, with all these games, I'll get around to it eventually. So, then let's move on to the PlayStation 2. Uh, I've heard really good things about uh, Vampire Knight. Uh, I can't play it right now because I don't have a CRT. Uh, hopefully, sometime soon I'll pick one up, but I just don't really have the space with my current setup, so I do plan on getting a CRT eventually. There's a few light gun games I would like to play again for various systems. And then I also picked up uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary, which I had played on PC. Uh, all the other Tomb Raider games I always played on the PlayStation, so pretty excited to get that one again. Uh, really good game, fantastic remake. Uh, for anybody who hasn't played Tomb Raider, I would say if you're going to play a Tomb Raider game, check out uh, the Anniversary or possibly the uh, most recent remake. So then moving on to the PlayStation 3, I picked up uh, Dante's Inferno, uh, another game I hadn't played. looked really cool. Uh, I kind of like that, you know, grim, dark, gothic whatever so looking forward to giving that one a go and then I actually haven't played uh, any Tales games since Tales of Destiny for the PlayStation 1 so I figured why not pick some up and eventually I can get around to playing it but I picked up uh, Tales of Zillia I hear it's an okay one compared to the others but uh, I figured you know got a good price why not and then another game I'm really looking forward to playing eventually here is Valkyria Chronicles um, Another kind of little strategy RPG. Um, heard great things about it. Really love the art design in the game. Uh, looks pretty cool. So hopefully it won't be too long before I get around to that. So then moving on, I picked up uh, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. I've yet to play the first one. I also have the first one. But I do plan on getting to these very, very soon. Um, Again, hear nothing but great things about the games. And then, uh, as you probably already know, I picked up a PlayStation 4 a few months ago. And the only games I've picked up so far is The Evil Within, 
which I actually did a review for, so if you haven't seen it yet, uh, check it out. It's kind of rough, but hey, it's my first video. Uh, I also picked up Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Uh, I'm a huge, huge Metal Gear fan, been playing them since Nintendo. Um, I really enjoyed Ground Zeroes. A lot of people complained that the price for what you got was a little ridiculous. And I can kind of agree with that, but it's Metal Gear, and for all the content that Hideo Kojima has given us over the years, I can definitely excuse one, you know, three, four hour kind of preview game for 30 bucks. Uh, I think it's totally worth it. There's actually a ton of like unlockable, you know, kind of secret stuff you can do, so you can definitely get your values worth out of it. And it looks fantastic. Uh, and I mean it's Metal Gear and then also I picked up the Last of Us Remastered I haven't even opened it yet but um, I figured why not I thought the Last of Us was probably my personal favorite game on the PlayStation 3 so you know getting a little enhanced graphics for the PS4 sounds like a good deal to me and then lastly moving on here to uh, PC games uh, I got the Child of Light Deluxe Edition, which, again, I just recently did a review on this game, so if you haven't seen that out, or if you haven't checked that out, uh, please give it a look. Uh, I thought it was a decent review. Uh, I actually imported this from Europe. Uh, I kind of... I wouldn't say I avoid indie games, and it's not really an indie game, but it was kind of handled like one of them where they tend to be digital only, and I really like to have the physical copies. It's not really something that will prevent me from buying uh, an indie game, but I'll be a little bit uh, hesitant about that, but when I found out that there was this, I thought it was pretty cool. It came with um, a bunch of extra junk, so I decided to import it. Very happy I did. Good game. Also, I picked up uh, Dying Light. I've already I played this a little while ago. I don't think I'll probably get be getting around to doing a review for this, um, just because you know I'm trying to keep up with all the other stuff I'm playing. Uh, if you enjoyed Dead Island or Mirror's Edge, I think it's worth checking out. Not quite what I hoped it would have been, uh, comparable to Dead Island, but this is a pretty decent game. I had fun playing it. Um, you would definitely want to try to play it in co-op, it makes it a lot more fun, and if you're a fan of Left 4 Dead, I would definitely encourage checking out the multiplayer, which is, in a way, it's kind of like playing the Hunter in Left 4 Dead, and it can be pretty fun. And then also, I picked up Wolfenstein, the New Order. I actually hadn't played a Wolfenstein game since Wolfenstein 3D. I actually played... Return to Castle of Wolfenstein just a little bit, but never actually had the chance to uh, beat the game or play online or anything. Um, Wolfenstein New Order I thought was a pretty decent game. I think it's uh, pretty much how you take the old school uh, FPS game and kind of bring it to the modern age. Uh, pretty cool set pieces, action, running around with dual shotguns or machine guns, blowing away Nazis. Can't go wrong with that. So. Yeah, these are just uh, some of the recent pickups I have. I think in a couple weeks I'll probably do another one to get a little, pretty much current to a lot of the stuff that I've gotten recently. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much always kind of hunting. It kind of goes in waves, you know, I uh, get the itch and I'll pick up a few games here and there. Uh, I try not to spend too much on games, but usually uh, around tax time I usually uh, drop a little bit on picking up some extra games. But, like I said, the main thing is, when I find a good deal, it's hard to pass it up. I really, really try to find stuff that's significantly cheaper than what it's going for, uh, say, on, like, eBay or Amazon. So, so I'm pretty happy with the pickups that I got recently. Quite a few good games, I think. Uh, I really tried to go for the quality games to get them in my collection. Not so much complete collections, or I just won't buy any game, even if it's cheap enough. Really just try to get the good stuff. Obviously, I'll have a few stinkers here and there. So hopefully you enjoyed some of the recent pickups that I got. What do you think about some of these games? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked what you've seen or heard, please give the video a like, a share, and subscribe to see future videos. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. Till next time on The Game Grinder.